Let's get more from Barclays Center as we go back courtside with Ian Eagle and Richard Jefferson. Bob, it certainly has been a tumultuous time for the Brooklyn Nets. Coaching decision made on Saturday. The surprise announcement that Kenny Atkinson was out as the head man. Jock Vaughn takes over. Nets have a quick turnaround, playing an afternoon game against the Chicago Bulls, a game you're supposed to win. The Nets get to the finish line, and they get the W, Richard. This was such a unique game because, obviously, uh, the Bulls are missing Zach Levine. They're missing their best player. Uh, but with all of the stuff going on, this was an easy game to just not come as focused as yep. you should. And they had a little bit of lax when we see the amount of turnovers that they had in tonight's game, but they did enough to win. They did compete. They did everything. Congratulations to Jock Vaughn getting his first win as the Nets head coach. Did you notice any differences from what the Nets were doing defensively, offensively, from what you had seen throughout the season? No, because you're so far into the game right now and into the season, the Nets are in a play off position so you don't want to change too much put DeAndre Jordan back into yep. the starting lineup there's going to be tweaks you saw Winston Wilson Chandler uh, started the game before instead yep. of Torian Prince so you're going to see tweaks but you know Jock Vaughn knows this you don't want to turn everything upside down you don't want to change anything because you are in a playoff push so the job is just to kind of tweak things slowly Karis LeVert is on a serious roll right now since being inserted into the starting lineup in early February he's averaging more than 24 points per game and he's doing it with a certain presence you know it's coming as an opponent and you still can't stop it. No, Karis LeVert, even when he came back from his injury, there were the couple of weeks yep. where they were trying, you know, oh, Karis has to get, it, it takes time. And right now we're seeing the same type of performance we saw from him back before he hurt his ankle last year. He's dominating on the floor. He is doing everything for his teammates, scoring 50 points, had a triple-double the night before tonight, a very well-balanced game. And look, Karis LeVert is an X factor, and the future is bright for the Nets, and he is one of the bright parts of that future. West Coast trip. Nets have L.A., they've got Golden State, they've got L.A., they've got Sacramento, and it comes at a very pivotal time with the Eastern Conference playoff set up still fluid, the Magic hanging right there with Brooklyn. What do you expect coming up from this net squad? Well, it's going to be very difficult because you're going out west with a lot of teams that are fighting for playoff position. You got Sacramento, you got the Clippers, you got the Lakers. You got a lot going on out there. So you got to win the games you're supposed to. You got to go out there and compete against some of the best teams in this league. Hopefully, steal a couple and then come back and and get ready for this playoffs. Jock Vaughn in his Nets head coaching debut gets the victory for Brooklyn. The Nets hold on against the Bulls. Back to you, Bob. All right, fellas, thank you. We're going to step aside for.